so in this way you can highlight first and third saturday or second or fourth saturday hi welcome to our channel shaha computer education center in this tutorial we will learn how to highlight second and fourth saturday of every month for a whole year previously i have created a video on how to highlight the second and fourth saturday for a single month but few viewers requested me to create a video to highlight the fourth and second saturday for whole year so in this tutorial we will be learning this so let's begin first let's create a new worksheet and type here first january 2023 and now go to home then fill series row wise debt step value 1 stop value 31st december 2023 click ok so we have got all the dates now we need to format them suppose Control shift and right arrow so to select all the all these dates and now we'll format this right click format sale and here go to custom and we will keep only dd to get the dates only okay now we will reduce the size of the columns so go to the last cell okay now drag this in this way so we got all the dates and now here we will generate the names of the day this equal to text bracket open then select the a5 cell comma here dd d press and close back close enter so we got here sunday and we will rotate this in this way and now we will drag this till the end so we can see here all the names of the days now we need to calculate the first second third fourth sunday of a month so for that we need a single formula for all these cells so let's start so first we will start in this way equal to if bracket open this cell not equal to Saturday then blank else for the timing we will take here one bracket close and enter so we see here we got blank and if I drag here you can see on all Saturday we got one and now we will check the second condition that is whether the first date of the month is a Saturday or not if it is Saturday then it will show one otherwise it will show blank so here we will instead of one we will type here if this cell equal to Saturday sorry here we have to give two logic so here we have to put and and the second logic is day here we have to put one comma and within bracket we'll take this value equal to one bracket close if this logic is true then we will have one else we will have blank value bracket close bracket close enter so we got here blank now drag this all are blank we do not have here any first day of the month where we have saturday here you can see it is sunday and here it is wednesday if i drag further till the last then we can see here that is first of the month and it is saturday so it is showing the value one here also you can see one so we have got two months that got first day of the month is Saturday. So we have given two conditions and 
for the rest we will count the total number of saturday for rest of the month so for that instead of blank we will type here count if so we are using count if because we will count saturday so what will be our range so our range will be offset bracket open then reference from where we will start counting so from the current date that is a4 then rows to move up or down it is zero that is we will not move any row comma then number of columns to move so we will count total number of saturday in the left side left side of the current column so how many columns should we count so total count will be minus we will go to the left so we will be minus day a4 plus 1 plus 1 is because here it is 1 there is no column on the left hand side so a4 is 1 sorry so here it will be a5 because we will check the date so a5 is 1 so minus 1 it will go on the left left hand side but there is no column so we will give plus 1 so it will become 0 it will not go to the left hand side so it will just count only that column and if we suppose this column that is 10 then the value of this will be 10 plus 1 that will be 9 so from here we will move 9 column 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so it will count from here to here so now here we will put comma our height will be word row and comma our column will be total column from suppose if we take this one from here to here so day a5 bracket close then bracket close for offset then comma now criteria will be saturday close and now here we will have another bracket then enter so here we got blank because this is sunday now if we go like this way you can see we got first then second then fourth in this way drag till the end now you can see we got all the sunday's number for a single month first second third fourth sunday of january and now if we go here you can see first second third fourth so now we have got the numbers of saturday now we need to highlight the second and fourth saturday so first select the range where you want to highlight so i have highlighted all the cells and then now go to home conditional formatting new rule and select this one and type here equal to this cell and here column a should not be locked but row 3 should be locked so remove the dollar before a equal to 2 so if i give this only the second saturday will be highlighted so if i want to highlight this second and fourth then type here or and here select this one and copy it and type here comma paste it and type here four so or a3 equal to two comma a3 equal to four this is the formula to highlight second and fourth saturday now go to format select a color and go okay okay you can see second and fourth is highlighted if you want to highlight first and third so in the same way go to home manage rule so let me copy this formula i will only change two and four so copy and new rule select here and paste here I will type 1 and instead of 4 I will type 3 
go to formatting and select a different color ok ok and ok you can see first and third is one color and second and fourth is different color so in this way you can highlight first and third saturday or second or fourth saturday so i hope you have understood this tutorial very well but still if you have any query write me in the comment section i will surely reply to all your queries if you like this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to subscribe our channel to support our work thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next video